woman being an adult female, in the spirit, a woman represents deliverance. Wow. I, I wish you could hear me. I hear you, Many sir. of us men would have not been saved if it was not for a praying mother, a praying sister, a praying wife. It would have been impossible. Majority of the men you see in church today, this is a fact. It is because of a woman that tarried in the presence of God and she became the monument and the symbol of deliverance for the family. Wow. I'm a you are in your family as a symbol <laughs> of deliverance. Mm. At the time where Israel had no prophet, Israel had no priests, had no one to intercede or to represent them. There was a woman in the palace that our uncle Mordecai had to remind her, don't you realize that God put you in that position so that we may not all be destroyed? Mm. So when God gives you a mother, a sister, a wife, an auntie, God has guaranteed the future of that family. Of that family. Wow. Hello guys, welcome back. So today we have an amazing, amazing video here. I'll just uh, God be will playing come for to you pass. Uh, shortly another segment um, from Prophet Lovi. Actually, this is a message. Uh, you can check it out on YouTube. It's called Who is Woman? It's a very, very powerful message uh, by Prophet Lovi. I'm just about to play for you the second the second segment uh, of it. So, uh, you see, currently there is a lot of uh, identity crisis. There's been a lot of identity crisis actually in the society uh, with the men, would I say, uh, being actually the society needs the men to be more softer. If you tend out to stand out like, uh, for example, you're a bit tough, you're a bit hard as a man. Uh, yeah, they term you as a toxic masculinity. Personally, I've never, I've never, I've never, I've never been in support of toxic masculinity, like even the term toxic masculinity. I don't think... Uh, it's it's i don't think actually there is uh there is toxic masculinity i think you're either good or bad but um uh, something i love about is actually what caught my attention is that uh there's a segment i'm about to play for you that prophet lovi is speaking about toxic masculinity because he's saying there are two things that the demon that actually the devil is using in currently in our generation so one of them is this idea and this concept of toxic masculinity so basically it's an identity crisis that's why we have uh, all these d weird movements that have actually been coming up uh, with the lgbt and all these just weird movements weird movements the transgender things and everything it is an identity crisis and let me tell you it has got nothing to do with jesus but these are ways of the devil the devil is using these ways to destroy many because if you if you lose your 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 initial your initial principle why were you born if you're born a man there's what god requires of you there's what god says about you if you're born a woman there's what god requires of you and what god says about you there's a place for you in the word of god and also in the society but now through uh this identity crisis definitely you miss your place and that is what the devil wants so you end up in confusion not knowing where you are supposed to go and what exactly you are meant to do so let me play for you this video and then now uh, we'll get back and then we'll have uh we'll, uh, actually there's a very very amazing testimony i'll share with you shortly to each one of you i want you to know by the spirit of god that you were born and ordained for time such as this there is no time in the history of the world the identity of a woman is needed now more than it has ever been needed before you have to understand that there are two things that are happening right now demonically in the world number one masculinity is being demonized yeah. that is the first attack is on adam that being masculine is a bad thing so they will come up with words like toxic masculinity. There is no such thing. There's good people and there is bad people. Simple men mm -hmm. or women, period. Yeah. There is no such thing as being a, a, a toxic masculinity, number one. So the attack is on a man not to be a man. 
Yeah. So sure. number two, the attack is distorts the function and the identity of a woman. That now you can be a woman because you feel like it. <laughs> not because you are created for a purpose. Remember, if you destroy the purpose, you have destroyed the existence or the reason for something existing. So the question I have today and what I'm going to teach today when I was praying, the Lord said, teach on what is a woman from my lens. Mm, amazing. Now, we live in such a confused time that even lawyers and people in government and people of power, in order to appease the crowd, you ask them what is a woman and they say it without using the word woman. They can't. Because one of the greatest tricks of the enemy is confusion. If I can confuse it, then I can win because his greatest weapon is confusion and God is not an author of confusion. Yeah. Every deliverance in the history of scripture began with a woman. All right, let me stop teaching. Let's... <laughs> the deliverance of humanity would have never been possible without a young woman called Mary who never held her peace, who did not distort her identity. Because of her, we have salvation today. That when angel Gabriel appeared to her, he said, Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. For generations, they will call you blessed. There is no man for generation that is called, for generations is called blessed. It doesn't matter how anointed Elijah was. It doesn't matter how anointed Moses was. It does not matter. There is only one person that is called blessed for generations. And that is Mama Mary. Hallelujah. Because without her maintaining... Praise the Lord Jesus. Yeah, so uh, that is what's happening currently. Uh, a lot of identity crises where you've had even a uh, prophet has said that um, it's very hard even for you just to address someone and call her woman. And the society doesn't want the man to still be the man. When you look as you're courageous, you're bold, uh, you're confident, they'll start terming you as a toxic masculinity. So I, I, love, I, I, I love what he said that uh, there's nothing like toxic masculinity. That is just a weapon. That actually the devil is using just to actually uh should i say soften soften the men or just to create these identity crises where the man does not know where the man is supposed to fit in because you see there's a there's actually a lot there's a lot to speak about this there's a lot to speak about this but uh looking at our lives with the lens of god what does god say about a man who is a man according to god Definitely, we know that a man is a protector, a man is a, is a leader. So, there are roles that God has given to us as men. And uh, as well, there are roles that God has given to women to be women. So, I'll ask that you go and uh, have a look at this uh, teaching. This is an amazing, amazing teaching. It's actually uh, on Prophet Lovi's YouTube channel. Just go Prophet uh, Lovi's YouTube channel. The title of this message is called, Who is Woman? This one, I'm recommending it for you. Go and watch it. Uh, especially if you're a woman, go and watch it. If you're a man as well, go and watch because uh, uh, it's, 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 it's good just to understand. There are so many things that he's throwing in and there that are, that are actually uh, not speaking out to women, but rather even to the men as well. So I'll suggest that you go and watch this because it's such an amazing, amazing teaching. You know, the first thing I uh, remember like that song that Sinach sang, he said, I know who I am. So the first thing for you uh, is to know who you are. It's, it, it, it's not enough for you just to say that you're a man, but exactly with the lens of God, who are you? Who is this man that you say that you are? What, God, what does God expect of you? What has God put in you as a man? What has God put in you as a woman? So go and check out this message right there on YouTube. It's called Who is Woman? And, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and just briefly from what i've been able to share on this platform i'd like to know what you think about it right there on the comment section what do you think about this so uh what do you think about the identity crisis that is actually hit the world right now so i like to hear what you think about it so don't forget to give this video a like subscribe 
and see you in the next one. And always, always, always stay blessed, y'all.